Audio Tree Live. Today is Saturday, September 17th, 2016, and we're very excited to have with us in the studio today, Big Ups. Take it away, boys.
You're watching Audio Chew Live with Big Ups. Hey, Carlos, that uh, DI box is kind of falling off your bass amp there. I just didn't want you to become unplugged. We all need to hear that tone, you know. <laughs> uh, <I> was, <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. I was going to ask you guys about uh, working with Exploding and Sound. I want to know, I've been following that label for a little while now. A few friends turned me on to it, and I was just curious of, like, what's it like, the experience, and how did you get hooked up in that experience? <laughs> we, I think that we've... But we're pretty lucky in meeting Dan, kind of, uh, Dan Golden, who runs the label, just from playing shows in New York. And Dan is at every show. Like, yeah. there was a period of time where I feel like Dan was at a show seven days a week. He's around, man. Yeah. <laughs> and awesome. so we would play a lot and then was always just really supportive of us, even though, mm-hmm. like, our first record wasn't on Exploding in Sound, mm-hmm. but always trying to help us get shows and stuff like that. And just because it's pretty natural just from, like, being around and, and yeah, playing shows and hanging out with Dan and making friends with Exploding and Sound bands, playing lots of shows with those bands and stuff. Cool. Are you, are you guys, like, really well connected with the other bands as well? Do you tour at all with them, or how does that work out? Yeah. Um, we Is did it... a tour with Speedy Ortiz and Pyle. And cool. We've toured a little bit with Avlov. Well, that nice. one tour, yeah. 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 And level up, as, level up as well, I guess. Did some stuff with Exploding and Sound. Yeah, totally. That's really cool. I, I know, like, are, are most of you from, um, like, the Baltimore area, or are some of you from there? That's just me. Just yeah, you? Just, yeah. So what I was going to... Yeah, okay, I was going to ask about, because uh, my friend Dave Kyle has turned me on to a band lately called Double Dagger, <laughs> and I wanted to ask Pretty you a little bit, I heard, like, you're, you're kind of a fan of that band I'm as well. I'm a huge fan of that band, yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing, like, a lot of research about them. He showed me them a few months ago, and I've been checking them out, but uh, I was just curious of, like, what was... Did you ever go to their shows, and what was it like? Like, was it intense? Was it, didn't that inspire you, like towards this band at all or totally that's yeah. that was the, a very watching that i saw them play like so many times and i think that's like one of the reasons why i wanted to do a band that was like first of all like kind of heavier in sound mm-hmm. but it's not like totally like you know it's not like black metal or yeah yeah like, like, that, like brutal like yeah, yeah <laughs> but like it's 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 like accessible and the shows were always like really fun and mm-hmm. i lo- like enjoyed the lyricism and i dr- enjoyed the performance aspect of it and mm-hmm. I think it was also a time and place kind of thing where at that point it, that really spoke to me and they, I don't know, were very connected to the city and were very much a, like a band of that city. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, it was really, it was really like a very formative thing, I think for me. That's cool. Cause the, the reason why I connected kind of those two questions, exploring sound, I kind of get the vibe with that band and their mentality and they're kind of like, DIY kind of mindset. I almost see that kind of an exploding in sound in a way. Like, I don't know if like you can like kind of relate to that as well. Is that something you see like as far as work ethic and as far as what they're doing with who they're working with and the bands and such? Yeah, I would say that there's a lot of parallels there mm-hmm. that there's like, uh, I don't know, a certain ownership of what you're doing and, yeah. and, uh, and, and the focus is very much on like, I don't know, like, like we, we've made these relationships with bands and, and people like Dan and, and just through doing it. And that's like sometimes the most important thing out yeah. of all of it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, sounds great in here, guys. You can run on that next song whenever you're ready. Word.
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Big Ups. Uh, I also want to touch a second on the artwork for the record. Uh, who did that? Do you guys? Uh, his name's Austin Redwood. He's a okay. uh, good friend who grew up with Joe in Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. And is there like a concept behind that as well? Because I saw like the, the American flag-ish looking thing on it. And the, is, like a, is that a vinyl on, above it? What is the... So the, the, um, uh, I just trust Austin a lot. And mm -hmm. he did the uh, cover for the first record we did too. Yeah. And it was everything like, it was just kind of like very loose instructions and like... So all I told him for this one was like I wanted it to be a desert, and so he yeah. kind of like interpreted that and like added this flag and like mm. this like pentagram wall, <laughs> and yeah. like we definitely talked about it a lot. I think um, you know it's probably best to hear it for, from him, but I think the thing that is really cool about the way that like all the artwork with our band has always come together is mm. that it's like very much like everybody's allowed to do their thing, you know, mm -hmm. like, and, and yeah. he's done pretty much everything. And it's always been like, here, this is what we're working on. Yeah. This is like the frame of mind that we're in, like do what feels good. And then we like trust it. And, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, it, it's like this kind of loose collaboration. That, That's cool. Like, yeah. so he did your last record, you said? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. He's pretty much done all of, we like maybe a few seven inches he hasn't yeah. done, but like all of our artwork generally he's That's pretty cool. been involved with. So. Is it something like you give him the music or just an idea? I'm just like curious as far as like him, his concept or whatever, you know? I think it's a little bit of both, but yeah? like, okay. yeah, for this one, it was certainly just like desert. That yeah, was like yeah, yeah. keyword, the, the theme. yeah, keyword desert. And then, yeah, I, I guess it's like that's what a desert is to him. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty rad. Yeah. Well, I was also going to ask one more thing, too, about uh, I heard a while ago when you're on the road, there's a, there's something, some sort of a storm you hit in Richmond lately. <laughs> I wanted to, to hear about, like, something crazy, some windstorm or something crazy. There were all these uh, tornado warnings happening while we okay. were in Richmond recently right. with uh, the Soso Glows mm -hmm. um, and Honduras. Mm -hmm. And uh, halfway through Honduras' sound check, there was a crazy rainstorm, and the power on the street was flickering, the power in the venue was flickering, so they oh, kind of Pause the show for a minute. Yeah. Um, and we didn't really realize the extent of it until we had driven to the house we were staying at and all the power in the neighborhood was out. Yeah. And, you know, you still don't realize And the next morning there's, like, trees falling on houses. So I guess there was a microburst or something, like some Dang. kind of extreme windstorm. Yeah, you know, none of your stuff got, got too ruined, right? Or no one got injured or anything? No. Yeah. No, nothing like that. All right, that's but good. But it was man. exciting to watch. <laughs> yeah, especially while the band was playing live. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was pretty intense. Yeah, someone got, like, kind of caught out in the rain, and there was, like, oh. a siren going off. It sounded, it was, like, uh, definitely one of those things you don't really expect to happen during a show. Yeah, I think, definitely like, unexpected. when you go to as many shows as we do, eventually <laughs> some wild stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, you guys can roll on the next song whenever you're ready.
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Big Ups. You mentioned earlier about playing a bunch of shows kind of like right before you went into the, that two-set song there. Um, I was wondering, like, when you guys are on tour and you're, you're traveling around a lot, like, is there a go-to food? Like, either, like, a place or, like, you're searching for, like, a certain food? I think <laughs> we it... all actually have different food preferences, yeah. which kind of okay. makes it a little tricky. Um, but we all find common ground. I feel like just as, as long as there's, like, Home cooking. I feel like yeah. whenever we have that kind of opportunity, we yeah. go for that. But we do eat a Wendy's lot of Wendy's always seems to be good. Yeah, we eat yeah. a lot of Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I noticed I mentioned, too, because last night, not to be too creepy, but I'm pretty sure I saw you guys at Chicago Diner. Yeah, we were there. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was, that's why I was asking if there's, like, possibly, like, dietary restrictions. Because mostly that's, like, a vegan-vegetarian restaurant. So I didn't know if, like, that was the thing you guys were all about. I think about it's, it's just, like, a preference to eat better if, if we can. Yeah, yeah for you know sure. I, mean? I think we need, like, fried chicken, like, four out of the five meals <laughs> yeah, before <we> that. So. <laughs> so it's, like, not, like, the, like, the oh, thing. Oh, beans yeah. and other stuff. Sounds <laughs> great. Yeah, we, had, we, we all had, like, a lot of beans, which led for, a, like, a kind of gassy night. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to... Ex- go there but yeah you know, yeah especially with car rides though you got to be careful with that yeah, 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 be trapped, yeah being trapped in a van for that many hours it's i can imagine yeah it's and our van rough. sucks so. yeah <laughs> some of the, the the some of the buttons don't really work and you have to ask the driver to roll down the window when you need to it's pretty awful dude i have like the same problem with my astro van <laughs> it's like you have to open it from like the passenger side like all this it's just it's a mess that's exactly what we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you were mentioning earlier like home cooking. Is there any meals in particular like that you guys have been out like when you're on tour that you're like, man, this guy like cooked the best or in any city or any particular band that put you up or anything like that? I'm going to say uh, Brendan's mom gave us <laughs> yeah. the best breakfast and actually probably one of the best dinners. She made like empanadas that one time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that so, was really good. She made good. blueberry pancakes the other day. That was really good. That's yeah. awesome. And she like do that like she's been doing that forever, like kind of growing up wise. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. She just likes you know having people around. So we were there, and we we're and she was really excited about it. She's like, I'm gonna cook you guys breakfast. I don't care when you have to leave. You're gonna have <laughs> breakfast. Like, right. That's awesome. That's always the best. Yeah, yeah. Home cooking can't beat it. Well, you guys can roll that last song whenever you're ready.
Live. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks so much. Sounds awesome. No problem. Um, you can catch them at Riot Fest tomorrow, midday, so make sure you go and check them out, get there early. Also, their new record, Before a Million Universes, is out now via Exploding in Sound. And another record in Europe as well, too, for other overseas. Um, tough Love Records. Tough Love Records. Okay, so make sure you check that out. Go and pick that up. Uh, I also wanted to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, everyone at Audio Tree that makes helps make this happen. So we really appreciate that. You can help support us and them by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. everybody. Thank you.